Hello and welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18. Well, moving a focus to Chandrayaan 3. Well, Chandrayaan 3, India's much anticipated space mission, is about to lift off by the Bahubali rocket LVM 3 today at 2.35 p.m. from Sri Harikota. Now, the main goals of Chandrayaan 3 is to follow up Chandrayaan 2 and to land the rover on the lunar surface on August 23rd. Now, if successful, India will become the fourth country after Russia, United States and China to achieve a successful soft landing on the moon. Now, the new mission aims to demonstrate India's capability to safely land and explore the lunar surface. The spacecraft is, is expected to reach the moon's South Pole and operate for one lunar day. That's approximately 14 Earth days. Well, CNN News 18's Yasha Kotak is showing the Vikas engine, which is sent to ISRO for making Chandrayaan 3. Let's listen in. As the clock is ticking for the launch of Chandrayaan 3, all eyes are on Sri Hari Kota, but here in Mumbai, we are at the plant of Godzej Aerospace. This is where the Vikas engine, which is a part of Chandrayaan 3, is made. Right behind me is this Vikas engine, uh, which was in fact prepared by Godrej Aerospace and sent to ISRO every month for different projects, right from PSLV to Mangalyan to Chandrayaan. Uh, such engines are passed on to ISRO. Apart from that, this particular one engine takes uh, approximately five months uh, to be prepared because it is the first time that India will ha be having sending an unmanned mission, a unmanned missile towards uh, towards the south pole of uh, Moon, and which is where we will in fact see that it's for the first time that the, south, that the soft landing is going to take place on Moon, and following which there will be research that will be conducted, which will help. Uh, the other space organizations across the world to get data and carry on for the experiments on the southern pole of moon. The ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. Look at what are things that can go wrong. So we instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan 2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan 3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taken. So for that we did many things. One, we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer. 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer width. Anywhere you can land. So it doesn't limit you to target a specific point. It will target a specific point only in nominal conditions. 4 by 2.5. 4 kilometer by 2.5 km. And there is one benefit from Chandrayaan 2 that Chandrayaan 2 had a very high resolution camera on board. It's called the orbital high resolution camera. This camera gave very good pictures, almost 28 centimeter high resolution image of the entire moon. With that, we were able to find out uh, the landing site much better way than last time. Well, India's moon mission is all set to launch today. And it's a wrap from my side. Stay tuned to CNN News 18 for more news and updates. Thanks for watching.